Hello and welcome back everyone. Today's video is actually from a highly requested comment from these three videos here. And that comment basically asked, how can I afford either Bookkeeper Launch or your Become a Coach program? With this question, I want to pretend like you are a financial coaching client of mine. So we've already looked at your budget, we've already looked at your savings and the money that you have coming to you in the next few months. And money's just pretty tight. Height, but you really want to enroll in Become a Coach. You really want to enroll in Bookkeeper Launch and you bring it up at a session. Here's what I would walk you through. Before I jump in here, I do want to say if this video helps you come up with the money for either Bookkeeper Launch or my Become a Coach program, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for the YouTube algorithm. Option number one and my personal favorite is cost reimbursement. In the past, I have had a client to get the cost of my program reimbursed through her employer and she was able to count it as professional development. This is amazing. Basically no time needed except for the initial request to get the cost of the program reimbursed or whatever application or process they have in place. Of course, each workplace is totally different in how they handle this or if this is even an option for you, but I would definitely start here because very little time needed and huge payoff. Employers value professional development, but it takes so much time and money and energy to put something together and always be one step ahead of their employees. When they can simply throw money at a program like mine and it's a done for you model, it's really a win-win for everyone involved. Typically how this works is the employer will need some sort of proof that you have either completed or passed the program in order to give you a full reimbursement or maybe you guys agreed upon a partial reimbursement instead. And within my program, there's a gauge that tracks your progress that you can simply show them at the end. Like I said earlier, it just simply doesn't hurt to ask and get the program reimbursed by your employer. And I've already had someone successfully get my program reimbursed. Option number two is to create your own payment plan. People get hung up sometimes on the pay in full option. They really want that option to save a few dollars, but they just don't have the cash on hand. And what I've done for the past two big mentorships that I've invested in is I've gone and opened up a 0% for 12 months credit card and created my own payment plan. It's the best of both worlds. I get the discount of the pay in full option and I can still make quote unquote payments throughout the next couple months. So very very, very simple, easy to do as well. Instead of opting for a built-in payment plan that would have you pay more over time, instead you can opt for the pay in full option and then set up a self-directed payment plan to the 0% card. For a $2,500 investment, let's say, you could make a monthly payment for 12 months of $210 and that would fully pay off the card before the 0% percent runs out. And that's also max. Hopefully you can pay it off way sooner because you're growing your revenue at the same time. Remember, you are investing in become a coach or bookkeeper launch. You're investing in something that's going to be adding streams of revenue to your income. You're not investing in a liability, a boat, or something that's just gonna sit there and be a money suck. You're investing in something that's going to have an ROI. If you are really serious about this, $200 dollars a month is less than one bookkeeping client or one financial coaching client a month. So the moment you sign one bookkeeping client or one financial coaching client that month, you're already net positive. And this process is 100% repeatable. This is a solid investment and it's really why I think this option works. Of course, full disclosure, I am really just flat out disciplined. I'm not stressed about money. We pay all of our other cards in full every month. And so having that countdown really was motivating to me. It did not stress me out in any way. We're not like struggling to pay other bills or trying to pay off other debt at the same time. I don't think that that would work super well. This really works well for me because it gives me such a tangible revenue goal to shoot for. It gives me that countdown timer that I know I need to 
to hit. I know I'm getting the best deal and I'm still being really smart about it. This might work for you or it might not. If you're already really stressed with other debt or bills are just piling up and you don't know how you're gonna make it to the next month, this may not be the best investment for you right now. Your bandwidth just might already be too thin. I personally really enjoy using immediately what I'm learning in my most recent investment and using that information to then turn around, create revenue, and then immediately pay off the program that I'm learning the information from. Last time I paid off my full investment in about three months, so I didn't even use the majority of the time that I had allotted myself. But I also really researched the program and I knew it was exactly what I was looking for and what I was needing to take my business to the next level. Don't underestimate the power of a firm deadline. This was one of my biggest hesitations in giving lifetime access to the coaches that enrolled in my Become a Coach program. And side note here too, Bookkeeper Launch also has lifetime access for everyone that enrolls. And it sounds great at first, right? If something comes up, it's no big deal. You're not stressed. You can just push it back and then push it back again. It's not going anywhere, right? And it's like, yeah, it's not going anywhere and neither is your business. Even if you don't use this method of creating your own payment plan, I still highly, highly recommend you put some sort of firm but realistic deadline on yourself, something that you have to meet because otherwise it's just gonna keep getting pushed back and I don't want you to keep pushing your dreams and your goals to the back burner. I talk about this concept way more in this video right here and I highly recommend you watch that video when you're done with this one here because when Ethan and I lost 60% of our income over a very short time period, it was a huge slap in the face wake up call. And I all of a sudden had the motivation of our savings is going to run out. And that's the exact motivation I needed to generate $14,000 of revenue in the first six months of my business. Motivation, a deadline, a pay in full discount, and a tangible goal. These are all win-wins to me in terms of using this option of creating your own payment plan. Option number three is doing some sort of seasonal work. And I know I've talked so many times about side hustles here on my YouTube channel and also on my Instagram account. And there's a couple of reasons why I like seasonal work in particular when you're working toward a short-term goal and a specific amount. Here's the reasons why. Number one is that these seasonal jobs often have very definite start and end times. You don't have to worry about starting a job and then having to quit or biting off more than you can chew. It's great timing because you can make anywhere between one and $3,000. And I know it's so incredibly hard to justify taking on more work when you're juggling your family, your kids, and possibly another full-time job. But remember, it has a definite start and end date and it's a very short time of sacrifice so that you can get to your goals and the dreams that you have for your family. Even if you have a calendar countdown and you count down every single day to when that seasonal job will be over, these seasonal jobs, even though they're tough, this is what separates the people who just dream about investing in themselves and they have all these goals, but they never do anything about it. It separates those people from the people who get off the couch and they go do it. They make it happen even when it's not easy. Reason number two why I like seasonal positions is that they usually pay a little bit higher than other part-time jobs. And the reason for this is that these seasonal workers have to be highly flexible. And sometimes these seasonal positions fall over holidays, which then pay time and a half. Some of my favorite seasonal positions include firework stands, snow removal, lawn care, Christmas retailer or package delivery driver, sports referee, pumpkin patch manager. Reason number three why I like seasonal positions is that it's usually not desk work. And this won't be true of all seasonal positions, but these jobs are typically outside or in non-traditional places, which just makes for more interesting work. When I was teaching high school, I actually tutored a high school student who 
got a seasonal job working at a haunted house and for about a month she got $12 an hour to work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night and she told me the craziest story. She had an absolute blast working the haunted house and that's definitely not your traditional part-time job. While those are my favorite creative options for coming up with the money for Bookkeeper Launch or my Become a Coach program, there is one big option I want to talk about that I don't recommend. And that is asking for the money from friends or family members. The truth is starting your business and getting your first couple clients is most likely going to come from your first or second degree of people that you know, people that are already in your life. You're already going to be asking friends and family members to share things that you create on social media. You're going to ask them for market research. You're going to ask them if they can comment and like, etc., you're already going to be asking so much of them and they want to support you as best they can with your new business. And I personally think they're going to take your business way more seriously if you invest yourself. I can only speak for myself, but I wouldn't want to invest in a financial coach or a bookkeeper who didn't have that level of self-responsibility, who wasn't willing to put all their money where their mouth is and start their own business with the funds that they had. It's all about risk in the beginning when you're starting your business. And I just think you shouldn't ask someone else to take on that risk for you. Same reason I don't like co-signed loans. Below in the description, I do have links for both my Become a Coach program and also Bookkeeper Launch. If you have questions about either one of those programs, I would be more than happy to answer in the comment section. And also, like I mentioned earlier, check out these videos here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for future videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.